So this is the, the Magic Beam asset, and uh, in its current incarnation, it's pretty basic, but it should be good enough to handle a bunch of different types of effects. So if you load up the asset and just move it around, you'll see nothing happens, it's just a ball. Uh, but if you start to keyframe it, if we start keyframing the movement, see it gets really weird there, but if you scrub it, you get that little beam coming out behind it, and the faster it moves, the longer the beam's gonna be. So uh, there's there's the pretty much the basic basic setup. You animate it and it shoots a beam out behind it. A couple of the options you got here. First of all, you've got the beam width, which you can control the overall width of the beam. You've got this beam deform, which sort of like affects the uh, how it grows, uh, thicker and longer towards the front. And then you've got this profile noise, which adds a bit of a variety to uh, to the profile of the beam. Okay, so there's a couple of other things that you can do. Uh, it's got this attribute called shaker, and if you notice, uh, the beam kind of wiggles around on its own. Uh, that's the shaker attribute, and uh, you can do some neat things with this. If I take the shaker and crank it up a bit, well, you can see that we get you know neat kind of effects like that, right? And then you've got the shaker speed, which is obviously how fast it's shaking. So very fast like that. So you can do neat stuff with that. These guys here control the resolution, so you can crank the beam's resolution up or down if you want to, just like that. Translate, rotate, scale, that controls the scale of the, of the main object. Minor noise, you can put a noise on the actual uh, beam surface. This is a texture deformer, so if I start cranking this guy up, uh, you see we get, uh, we get this kind of result just like a little beam with a trail that you can add a bit of noise to. Now you've also got this guy here, Gravity. Uh, I tossed that in there, that's kind of neat. You, if, you start cr if you start messing with this, you can um, create kind of like a, a fire effect. That just means that the beam will be pulled up or the beam will be pulled down. And that's just about all that there is to, to this effect, the beam effect.